Hi, my name is Lee, and this is The Usual Scene. Third episode! Yay! Okay, so that's not so me. Anyway, I think for the last two episodes, I was a little bit stricter, so I went really scripted. So you can, you guys can see my eyes going from the screen back to the camera all because I want to get it right. But I realized that I just have to speak freely like how I would normally talk to you in real life. So for this episode, I know that you're checking this out because you want to get your photos from this to this right yeah of course who doesn't want a really good um, photo to be posted or selfie to be posted on your social media now the thing is you can't go from this to this if you don't know the basics so <laughs> Um, on the first uh, episode, we've introduced or I've introduced you to having a good life, having, uh, knowing your angles, and really knowing uh, what your phone can do for you. Now, I cannot emphasize more what good light can do, not just to your photo, but to any video or to anything that has to do with the camera, because the camera really works with the light. So I have to shoot this in the morning so that you can get this really good light from my window. So for today, we'll be discussing three basic editing settings or really three basic settings that you can adjust after you've taken your selfie so that you can avoid using too much of your filter and you can get much more control into your photos. Doing automatic filtering is fine but think about this when you're doing your auto setting for anything you're letting your machine think for you and machines do not think like a human brain they cannot really see like the human eyes and sometimes that is really frustrating at least for me because it can't see what I can see right so today let's talk about um, highlights exposure and brightness and let me just remind everyone I'm not a professional photographer I'm still learning how to do photography as everyone is that would be dropping by this channel uh, but I love taking my own photos I love doing my own selfies so I'm just here sharing what I already know hoping that it can also help you in making better photos that we can post on our social media because honestly good photos <laughs> makes us happy so without further ado let's go to the first one the highlights we don't want to get too technical so when we talk about a highlight it is the bright spot on your photo and this all depends of course on the kind of light that is available for you when you take the, your selfie even if it had a low light there would still be a bright spot so when we talk about our selfies we would only want to touch this if the photo is in really bad light and there are details that we want to be able to show when we talk about bad light, it simply means that it can be too bright or too dark. And as we've mentioned on the onset, uh, when we go or when the photo is too bright, we want to go to the negative and when it's too dark, we want to go to the positive. So if you have a good light, this is something that you really wanted to skip. Adjusting this might make your photo look a little metallic. The exposure. The exposure. So exposure is the amount of light that goes into your camera. I remember John advising me that it is better to have a lower exposure and edit it later. Oh, John is, he's my boss. Anyway, of course, different photographers would have different styles. You want to adjust this when it is too bright. Now in editing your selfie, this directly hits the highlights on your photo. This will make some of the details pop more. 
and if the photo is too bright again we'll have to go to the negative and too dark will go up to the positive if you have to edit this i say skip editing the highlights but then again this all depends on your judgment the brightness actually went last for the most basic of the three um, because this is what you probably would want to be editing most of the time so brightness is the lightness or darkness of your photo not just your selfie but your photo in general it can have a similar effect as your exposure when editing but brightness applies equal amount of change into your selfie so this lightens up everything or darkens everything just like highlight and exposure if it's too dark we go positive and if it's too bright we go negative this is the safest way to brighten up your selfie and this lightens not just the light areas but also the darker ones the brightness adjusting or editing is definitely a judgment call adjust these settings when the photo is too bright or too dark but remember to go positive for the darker photos and negative for the brighter ones brightness applies equal amount of lighting change exposure directly affects highlights not so much for the darker spots and highlights only affects the brighter spots on your photo again you want to edit your exposure and your highlights if you want certain details of the photo or the selfie to pop so here's our adjusted selfie the first part of the editing your selfie now you don't have to worry if the light isn't too good because now you know when to edit your brightness your highlights and your exposure okay now that you've learned more about your highlight your exposure your brightness you can now really consider um, adjusting these options right after you take your photo now as much as possible edit less and just really find a good light source um, it can be a really good window it can be going outside a little bit or you can buy external um, light sources like a ring light or some type of LED light or even be more creative use your phone flashlight or if you do have a flashlight um, and then just play around with it put it on top put it on the side put it at the bottom it all depends on what you want to achieve and how dramatic you want your photos to be all right so um, I now hope that you can apply these on your photos and on the next episode, right, what she said, <laughs> we'll see you and we'll also deal with or we'll talk about with your uh, contrast, your black point, and your shadow. So it's a little bit the opposite, quite the opposite of what we had for today. So um, make sure to check that out. Um, no, it's not yet going to get you from here to here sadly but it will help you make a better looking photo if you feel like there's too much light or there's less light on the photo that you take it all right so if you like this video if you learned something from it and i hope that you have that you have uh, please uh, feel free to click like and subscribe feel free to share let me know what type of content you want to see on this channel. Do you want me to do? <laughs> do you want me to do an advice column, or an advice video, or an advice episode? Let me know because somebody somebody suggested that, and I hear you. So, so please let me know. We we can we can certainly do that. Okay. So until the fourth episode, I shall see you again. This is...